Welcome to Miami Dolphins. Today, I am your host, Her Harrison Graham. The Dolphins have made a pair of second-round draft picks. Let's talk about it on today's show. With the fourth pick of the second round of the NFL Draft, 36th overall, Javon Holland, the selection for Miami as they go safety out of Oregon. A bit of a surprise that Holland was the first safety off the board ahead of Trayvon Merrick, but the Dolphins go defense here in their secondary. A player I like quite a bit, but maybe a bit of a reach here as Tom Downey, our draft expert, had him as about a top 60 guy. The Dolphins get him at 36 here, so I'd put this in the minor reach category. But remember, when you get into the second and third rounds of these NFL drafts, it's one of those situations where it's like, okay, every team's big board is a little bit different. Miami obviously liked Javon Holland quite a bit. Six foot, 207 pounds. He can lay the wood. He can also play in coverage as well. He creates turnover. So a complete safety, and I think someone that Brian Flores clearly has a vision for. I think overall you can feel okay about this draft pick. What is your one-word reaction to the draft pick of Javon Holland to the Miami Dolphins? Get your votes in right now in the comment section. I'll say okay. I don't love it, but I think he's a good player, and I think he'll end up being nice under Brian Flores. Let me know what is your one-word reaction. Subscribe to us on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. You guys see the link below, youtube.com slash TV. We are still live on day two of the NFL Draft. If you are up and watching this on a Friday night, maybe it's Saturday and you're like, oh, I need to find some draft coverage. Well, we're going to be live 11 a.m. Uh, sharp, uh, maybe 1130. We'll see uh, when we end up going live, youtube.com slash TV. We're going to break down every single pick remaining in the NFL draft, including the Dolphins draft selection. So give us a sub, youtube.com slash chatsportstv, and check out our coverage. I said production. Well, Javon Holland was certainly that. Remember, 2020 opt-out, uh, the safety out of the Pac-12. He opted out of Oregon season. Four interceptions back in 2019. Uh, a pretty decent coverage safety. He can play in the box some a little bit as well. There is some versatility to Javon Holland's game, and I think – that uh, Brian Flores has proven in his short tenure as the Dolphins head coach. He knows how to coach defense. He has a vision for defense. You plug him into the secondary, he is going to be a good player for the Miami Dolphins. We'll see exactly how they see him fit. Is he more of a strong? Is he more of a free? Is he more of a Tyron Matthew, roam around and do different uh, things type of player? I think he's got that versatility. I'm excited to see how Flores uses him this upcoming season and on into the future. Do you like the pick of Javon Holland? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Overall, I'm okay with it. It's an above average selection. I would have gone in a different direction, but I think I'm okay with it overall. Get your votes in. Y for yes, N for no. Do you like the pick of Javon Holland? Now, today's show is sponsored by the Newsbreak app. We partnered up with these guys a couple months back, and hey, if you're a fan of keeping up with what's happening in your community, local news, also it's great for weather updates, the Newsbreak app is for you. And hey, I downloaded this thing on my phone once we partnered up with these guys. It's been a life changer because I like what's going on, both local news and local sports, and I have a lot of different sources I go to to get my information, you know, different websites, and I got tired of downloading a bunch of different apps. Newsbreak, it consolidates it all into one app, and it goes onto your feed based on your zip code, based on your city. You're always caught up on what's happening in your community and what's happening in your neighborhood. So download the app today, chatsports.com slash dolphinsnb. That is the link for you. Get going with Newsbreak. You'll never miss out on what's happening in your city. With the Dolphins' other second round pick, Liam Eichenberg at number 42 overall, the offensive tackle out of Notre Dame as Miami addresses O-line and gets someone to protect Tua Tunga Viola. Now what's very interesting here about the Eichenberg selection is he played left tackle and you're like, okay, sweet, he can protect Tua's blind side. Well, Tua's left-handed, so not necessarily his blindside protector. Maybe you kick him out to right tackle. Maybe you keep him at left tackle and you just maximize his potential here. There's also been some chatter. Maybe Eichenberg can kick inside and play some guard, maybe some left guard as well. But I like this pick a lot. I think at 42 overall, this is really good value for him. He was getting some late round one buzz, early round two. He ends up going you know, early, middle round two for Liam Eichenberg. So personally, I like this value better 
than the Javon Holland pick, which is what Miami did a few picks prior to this. So I think overall, if I'm grading it, and we'll ask you guys to do the same, A, B, C, D, or F, I'll give this one like an A-. I, th I think the Liam Eikenberg pick is good. I think he's a plug-and-play day one starter on this offensive line. We'll see how Austin Jackson progresses, the draft pick from last year out of USC. I think he can be a, a formidable piece moving forward to help protect Tua because the Dolphins got to find out if they have their franchise quarterback. Now, there was a trade to move up uh, to get this pick by Miami. They moved up from 50 to 42, gave up 50 to the Giants, who continue to trade down in this draft, and a third-round pick next year. So the Dolphins will lose a 2022 third-round pick to move up. So clearly they said, hey, we, we like Eichenberg. We don't want to risk it and wait until 50. Let's go up. Let's get him. Let's get a, a, a big boy on the offensive line that can help protect Tua, can help in the run game because we know Miami is going to be a team that wants to run the football in 2021 and beyond. Liam Eichenberg is a guy that can help you do that. You've started to see offensive linemen go in the second and third round of the uh, NFL draft and Liam Eikenberg to the Dolphins. One of my bet favorite fits in terms of filling a need and helping out what you need to do if you are Miami. Because again, I'm just going to continue to reinforce this. I know uh, uh, some of our other Dolphins Today hosts have talked about, hey, you got to find out if Tua is the guy. Well, you get him some weapons, you get him some offensive line help, and now it's up to Tua to see if he can prove that he can be that franchise quarterback. Eichenberg tested pretty well. He's got all the measurables that you need in an offensive tackle. I would keep him at left tackle, keep him comfortable, plug him in there, but Dolphins have some options on that offensive line, so we will end up seeing what direction they go in. But Liam Eichenberg is the pick for Miami at number 42 overall. Subscribe to Miami Dolphins today. More draft videos throughout the weekend. Uh, maybe more on Friday night. Maybe on in, for sure on into Saturday morning and afternoon. We'll do some final draft grades for the Dolphins. YouTube.com slash Dolphins News. This is the channel for you. And hey, when the draft is over, we're not going anywhere. Whether it's me, Mitch, Tom, Chase Sr., we're going to continue to keep you guys up to date with everything surrounding the Miami Dolphins. So go ahead and hit that big red button and subscribe. It's 100% free. And real quick, let's just real quick look at what Miami's done. I think you can feel good about this draft overall. Jalen Waddle gets to a weapon. Jalen Phillips, a good player coming off the edge uh, who played at Miami. So local flavor there as well. Javon Holland, I thought a bit of a reach overall, but I think will be a starting caliber player. So I don't mind it too much. And I really don't mind it a lot either because I thought you got good value with Liam Eikenberg. It, 42 overall on the offensive line. So you look at that, you know, that hall of picks so far, bravo. I think Miami's done a really, really good job in this draft so far. And we'll see what they do uh, moving forward in the rest of the NFL draft. Depending on when you're watching this, they, they could have possibly already picked at 81. If we get a chance to, we'll break down that pick as well. We'll, of course, recap every pick uh, with our final draft grades at the end of day three. Who should the Dolphins draft next? Let me know in the comment section. They filled a lot of needs. They've added a lot of talented players. Get your votes in. Who should Miami draft with their next pick?